second attempt at this video. Uh, right, I've got to switch the lights on. <coughs> Why? Canal boat. Right, as you can see, I've put all the bulkheads in. Uh, the bulkheads are different for the uh, residential canal boat than they are from the uh, one that a cargo carrying one. So the choices are on the on the on the paper print out. Uh, what I've done is uh, after the last time you saw me is I've sanded down all of the hull. Okay, make it nice and flat. I've also painted it black as you can see. Okay. The reason I've done that <clears throat> is that just in case the cover piece which I'll put on in a while isn't quite wide enough for whatever reason then you won't see the card underneath okay I've also cut out as I said I was going to in this uh, where are we that bulkhead there a hole uh, this is for the light to be distributed between this and that cabin all right uh, I haven't made a hole in the uh, underneath yet and put the LED in I will do but with the wires dangling out it sort of get they get in the way so before I put the roof on I'll do that uh, so the next step oh I've put some curtains I've put some curtains <laughs> in the uh, in the cabins so just a case of sticking bits of sticky card. There's curtains in the kit. So, I mean, they're all the same colour. But if you've got other kits of his, then they come in greens and yellows and blues. And you can choose what you want. A bit of card, isn't it? Uh, the next step will be to put the sides on. Which are these small pieces of uh, card which were printed and then stuck onto light card so that was 100, 180 gram I think okay so this have to be fitted onto the side given that we've got a curve obviously at the bow and a curve at the stern we need to sort of uh, preform these this is a flat one which I haven't done anything with yet I just get a screwdriver or a pencil or anything round and put it behind the piece of card like that and then bend it like that. So it kind of sits in a curve. Make sure you curve it the right way obviously. So I'll do the stern now. Okay, it's just the stern section that needs bending. So we'll bend it over and then pull it and that gives us the curve on the stern so that fits then you know you're not fighting the um, against the glue are you? So there's a slot as you can see at the top at the uh, bow yeah between the top and bottom and when this goes around the corner that will fold down hopefully and actually uh, close up that gap. Make sure that you put it on the right way around. Red on top, black on the bottom. Um, white on the top and red on the bottom for the stern. Well, I mean, if you get one you'll get the other, won't you? So I'm going to get on and do that and then I'll come back to you and show you how we're getting on. I'll see you in a tick. Right, got on a little bit further. I've put the sides on. Okay, I've glued those on. <clears throat> There's a little bit of uh, touching up to do. A little bit of white showing. So you just get a very small, well, felt tip, I suppose, really. Uh, we've got all the bulkheads in, as I said before. And I've put the two rear that's the yellow and blue ones, put those in. 
because I'm going to have a pair of open doors at the back. I've put the stern cap on which is a bit of paper over the join of the two sides which come around and the same with the with the bow okay you've got a piece of paper that caps the join between the two side covers so I'll let that dry and then uh, put the sides on cabin side that is okay I'll come back to you after I've tried to do that all right see you in tick right we are uh, I think we're there yeah. there's the old power about finished it's not too bad it's not a, not my best uh, probably not on form okay so uh, what it hasn't got is a tiller yet. I'll, go, I'll, I'll have to make the tiller. Um, there's a little jig inside the uh, um, in the uh, downloads on the piece of paper. You just glue onto a piece of card and bend a bit of wire around it, and that's that'll do for the tiller. What I haven't done yet is uh, put the uh, what they call the crutch uh, cover on if I want that on. If I don't, I'll leave it off, okay? That's just a small piece of uh, dark black paper. It's like a tarpaulin. Just keeps the area dry. Um, and you can sit under, you can glue that on if you wish. If you don't, don't worry too much about it. Uh, Oh, it was quite a nice build, uh, but you do have to be accurate with the thing. It's so it's so fiddly and small. Any little uh, dimensional error you make uh, sort of adds on to something else. So you've got to then cut that, and and uh, I think just just be aware. Of, just fit all the bits. How about that? Fit all the bits that you cut out before you glue them. Right, what I'll do is I'll um, I'll put the lights on in a minute. As you can see, I've got the wires in. It's just that one single LED I popped in there. And, uh, oh, got a chimney. Um, got the stern, uh, what do they call those? They're not buffers, are they? Oh, I can't remember. Uh, yeah, and, and one on the bow as well. Um, what they call them? That was a sailor as well. Anyway, let me just uh, connect it up to the uh, cabling. See if we can get some lights on. Give me a tick. There we are. Switch the lights on. Somebody's at home. I'll go and uh, put that upstairs on the... Uh, Lay out sometime when I finished uh, doing the uh, uh, I like the area where they're all meant to be, the marina, and uh, we'll see you uh, on the next build. Wishing you all um, a well and uh, a nice and uh, happy new year and uh. See you soon, eh? Oh, thanks for watching. Bye.